Welcome everyone to the Parish of St John the Baptist Penshurst in the United Benefice with Falkham and the Chiddington Churches. It really is great to be sharing with you again today and we will be hearing from our young friends very shortly. Well we've had some interesting weather haven't we over the past few months? A real mixture of sunshine and showers and I know for sure it's been really good growing weather for the weeds in my garden. They seem to have been empire building with a vengeance. We're going to be thinking about growth today, but enough from me for the moment. Um, let me hand over to some very much younger people. Jesus once told a story about planting seeds. Welcome everyone to the Parish of St John the Baptist Penshurst in the United Benefice with Falkham and the Chiddington Churches. It really is great to be sharing with you again today and we will be hearing from our young friends very shortly. Well we've had some interesting weather haven't we over the past few months? A real mixture of sunshine and showers and I know for sure it's been really good growing weather for the weeds in my garden. They seem to have been empire building with a vengeance. We're going to be thinking about growth today, but enough from me for the moment. Um, let me hand over to some very much younger people. When we plant seeds, we want them to grow into plants, because sometimes seeds don't grow. Do you think seeds will grow if I plant them on a dusty road? What happened to those seeds to make them not grow on the road? Hmm. People could step on them and ruin them. Birds or other animals would come and eat them. Also, there's no soil on the pavement for the seeds to grow in. What if we planted our seeds in a lovely garden with good soil and lots of space? Then would they grow? Yes, they would grow well and they would have strong roots. Jesus said that even if our faith was as small as a mustard seed, we could move mountains. Jesus also said that the kingdom of heaven is like a tiny mustard seed that grows into a huge plant. Clearly, we don't need to be grown up in Christ to start serving him. Even young Christians can make a difference. Christians never stop growing. Whether it's learning more about the Bible, learning about the power of prey, or simply spending quiet time with God. Spiritual growth takes time and effort, just like gardening and gr or growing crops on a farm. Just as a farmer helps the crops to grow, God helps us to grow. Just like any good father, he strengthens us and helps us to become better people. In the Bible, we have the best example of a perfect father described to us in the way that God is to each one of us. Us, fa us our father in heaven, as Jesus describes him. A father that goes on loving us even when we refuse his help. A father that sometimes says no or not yet, just for our own good. For many of us, our dads are the best male role models that we have. But it's not true for everyone, and even the best dads can mess up being a father. In the Bible, God is the perfect father. I have a few. I have my dad, my grandfathers, my uncles, my godfather, my great-grandfather, teachers I have had, authors that I like. It could be all sorts of people. I wonder who you would thank today, because they have been a little bit like God and a father to you. and granddads out there. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Daddy and Granddad. I love you both because you're the best daddies in, daddies in the whole world. Thank you for being understanding, Daddy and Granddad. And I hope you have a lovely Father's Day. Love from Elliot, Elliot and Ava. <laughs> I love my daddy because he's a super fast runner. Anything else? And because he reads me stories. Anything else? And because he takes me on bike rides. <laughs> Any other reason? No. Um, happy Father's Day, Dada. I love you lots. And um, I 
But I, I love you because you look after me. My dad makes me yummy pancakes and whenever I say ah, he comes to me. Happy Father's Day to all the men out there in people's lives. I love my daddy because he buys me lots of Lego. Um, happy Father's Day, Grandad. Um, I love you because you call me um, funny names and look after me. Hey, Daddy is not really special because he's um, really nice and he works really hard so we can do nice things and he drives me to play at Professor's for club when he was in that way. I love my dad because he's the best father in the world. He helps me through everything. He gets me all the toys I like and he cooks my dinner for me. He's the best dad in the world. I love him. My good fire lion always lifts me up and plays with me. I love my granddad because he fixes my bike and all the other stuff. At the beginning of this service, I mentioned the weeds in my garden. But I've seen lots of other plants in the countryside enjoying the weather, all benefiting from good growing conditions being fed the right stuff, if you like. When I was at school, I used to get really fed up with people who kept saying to me, people who hadn't seen me for ages, my, haven't you grown? I expect some of you have experienced that from people that haven't seen you during the lockdown period. But we and the plants cannot grow physically without being fed the right food. And we would find life difficult without having had some education and picking up some knowledge and skills. The same applies spiritually as well. Just as the rain, or in the absence of it, our watering can, makes the plants grow, so being filled with God's love through the Holy Spirit enables us to grow in the faith. Listen to what Paul writes in his first letter to the Corinthians Chapter 3, verses 5 to 7. He says, Each one of us does the work which the Lord gave him to do. I sowed the seed, Apollos watered the plant, but it was God who made the plant grow. The one who sows and the one who waters really do not matter. It is God who matters because he makes the plant grow. Apollos mentioned there was a first century Christian and a colleague of St Paul. We do need to do that watering though by reading our Bibles, praying and worshipping together as we are just now. Then God will enable us to grow. You met Oswald a few, a few months back. He doesn't grow physically, thank goodness, and it's no good watering him although he does need a bit of a wash blessing. He may be growing spiritually, I don't know, he can't say, he can't show it, but we can show it. We can show that we are growing spiritually in the way we lead our lives. And I'm going to pray for a good growing season for you all. So let's pray now, and I'm going to use as a prayer the words of a song which some of you may know. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Melt us, mould us, fill us, use us. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Amen. Now there are going to be times, aren't there, when we're going to do things wrong and we are all going to sin at times, so we do need to confess our faults to God. So let's do that now and if you reply with repeating the last line after me. We have not always worshipped God, our Creator. 
Lord, have mercy. Together, Lord, have mercy. We have not always followed Christ, our Saviour. Christ, have mercy. Together, Christ, have mercy. We have not always trusted in the Spirit, our guide. Lord, have mercy. Together, Lord, have mercy. So we've sought forgiveness, we've confessed our sins, so we now ask that God will absolve us, release us from those sins. May the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. And so let's pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. So let's say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. So may God's blessing go with you as we part now. And may you know his comfort and his peace over the coming weeks. So thanks once again to all involved in preparing the service and to you for sharing in it. Until we meet again, may God go with you and may you continue to grow in your love for Jesus and for one another. Bye for now.